Hi, my name's Colleen Ruby and I'm with Anita. Thanks so much for attending our webinar. Um, today we're going to explore uh, fitting breast surgeries from a lingerie fitter's point of view. Because of these, let's call them interesting times, it becomes really important for us and for our businesses to make the most of the time that we get to spend with each of our customers. With most of us working limited hours, and by appointment only, and limiting the amount of people that we have in the store, and sometimes we can't even use our dressing rooms, um, we need to be able to use the inventory that we have to cross-sell to the maximum number of customers and their individual needs. So to that end, it's imperative that we expand our knowledge base so that we're able to assess the inventory that we have and know what needs they're capable of addressing. So today I'd like to focus on women who have undergone breast surgery. When we think of breast surgery, we normally think of breast cancer surgery. Um, one in eight women are going to be diagnosed with breast cancer at some time in their life, so it's natural that we would immediately go there. I've worked with post-mastectomy survivors for nearly 40 years, and I have seen this industry change and grow to accommodate these amazing women. Most lingerie stores are eager to help, but not necessarily equipped to maintain the compliance standards that are set in order to fit women who have had mastectomies. Um, insurance does cover a portion of the breast prosthesis and pocketed bras, and the stores who participate with insurance have to keep up medical files in coordination with the woman's physician that corroborate and demonstrate the need for product as well as open their files for several different agencies to come in so that um, they can make sure that all of the records are being kept in accordance with the standards that they've set. So doesn't that sound like the kind of fun you'd love to sign up for? No, of course not. That's why we have post-mastectomy boutiques. They service this incredible population and they're experts in the record-keeping needs of that business. Lingerie stores, however, are in the unique position to serve the largest community of women who have had breast surgery. The term breast surgery doesn't just mean mastectomy. It also includes lumpectomy, reconstruction, augmentation, and breast reduction surgery. Most women having these surgeries will neither contact nor be referred to a post-mastectomy boutique, though they're going to need special attention either during or after the surgery. Notice I didn't say special product. I said special attention. You most likely have most of the product already in your store. Making sure that the word gets out that you can assist women who have had these surgeries is so important. While breast cancer is the number one cancer affecting women, most women are choosing to have breast conserving surgery. This means that most women, over 60% of them actually, when given the opportunity, opt to not have their entire breast removed. They'll have a partial surgery or lumpectomy that is followed up by radiation. Because they don't have their entire breast removed, it seems counterintuitive to them to go to a post-mastectomy boutique to be fit because they still have their breasts. Um, these women will most likely end up in a lingerie store fitting room asking for assistance to make their breasts look symmetrical. We have such an opportunity to assist the largest portion of women who have had surgery and we can do it with what's already available in our stores if we know how. When women have a lumpectomy, the tumor and a small section of healthy tissue are removed. Then she'll have either chemotherapy, radiation, or some combination of both. The removal of the tissue reduces the size of her breast, obviously, but radiation also further reduces the size of the breast. After the conclusion of radiation treatments, the breast may continue to reduce in size due to the radiation for up to a year afterward. In any surgery, nerves, tissue, and lymph nodes are severed in order to remove the tumor. 
As fitters, we need to take this into consideration when we're fitting. Hi, my name is Colleen Ruby and I'm here to talk to you about how we're going to measure women who have come in and they've had a lumpectomy. So um, this is my model, socially distant Sally. She's not real. Um, the lack of a head and arms might have been a giveaway. Um, so let's get started. First, we're going to measure for the band. And we're just going to wrap our measuring tape around there, just like we always do. There is going to be one difference though. Normally when we wrap a measuring tape around a person who's just coming in for a fashion bra, we um, add one or two inches to get her bra size. Because she's had breast surgery, and this holds true for anyone who's had breast surgery, so everything that we're going to go over today, this is going to hold true, we are going to add three to four inches so that we can accommodate for the surgery. The reason for that is um, lymph nodes have been either removed or they've been moved, and that can trigger a condition called lymphedema. And that is like an uncontrolled swelling. And we want to make sure that we have enough room in her band that we're not going to cut off that circulation so that her lymphatic system can work well, um, since some of it is missing. So when we measured her, she measured a 30, so she's going to be a 34. You want to make sure that you can get two fingers comfortably under that band. Now we're going to go ahead and measure for the cup size. Now we only have the one side that is larger. So we can't take a full measurement of both of her breasts because we're going to get the wrong measurement. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our measuring tape. We're going to press the zero in here. We're going to go across the fullest part of her breast. And then we are going to walk across here. We're going to measure to the center of her back. Then we're going to take that measurement and double it and that will give us the full bust measurement. Pretty tricky. Um, so she is measuring right now a 36, I'm sorry, a 34 C. So that's what we need to, to match. Now her uh, smaller breast is measuring a 34B. So we've got a one size difference in um, cup sizes. So I've already fit her into a 34C. And what we're going to do is use a partial breast form and you can see that it's hollow. And that's so the breast can sit right inside and it will give her that symmetry after we put it on. So we're just going to slide this down. We're going to fit this over her breast. And we're going to put that back. Now, you can see that whenever we took that off, her center moved. So we want to make sure that we're going to, there we go, put her center back in the center, and then let's measure again. And she's measuring 19 and a half on that side. And, 19 and a half on that side. So we've been able to um, make her symmetrical and she looks good in the bra. This bra is our Tanya 5706. It does come in other colors. Um, and if you have any questions, please um, just look up Anita on Curve Connect and get in touch with A padded non-wired style 
like our Rosafia Fleur, style 5654, or our Lace Rose, style 5618, gives lift and a bit of padding to help even things out. If after trying a padded bra, the difference in size is still noticeable, try our Anita Care Tanya style 5706 with pockets along with a partial breast form to help even out her silhouette. The partial breast form will give her symmetry and you've now brought her affected breast up to the size of the unaffected breast. Um, the cost of a partial breast form is negligible and can be worn either in a pocketed bra or right next to the skin and it's suitable for any woman that has noticeable asymmetry. Um, we have asymmetric women come in all of the time and she doesn't necessarily have had to have a surgery in order to need a uh, partial breast form. So after a woman has had a mastectomy, about 40% of them go back to have their breast or breast reconstructed. Um, for the last few years, women who are diagnosed with cancer in one breast are choosing to have both breasts removed so they can create symmetry with the reconstruction. Reconstruction can be performed either with the woman's own tissue or more generally with implants. So after surgery, the site is going to take some time to heal and her doctor will most likely tell her, oh, just go to a discount store and get yourself a sports bra. I hope that every single one of you just absolutely cringed and made an are you kidding me look because I know, right? No, that's not okay. She cannot just go get one of those inexpensive, pull it over your head sports bras to help to heal this surgery with compression. Spending thousands of dollars on surgery and then squashing yourself into a discount store sports bra is just not okay. A proper sports bra will have encapsulation technology to lift and cradle each breast and pull it toward the chest wall. Um, this way it gives separation and it gives really, really great support, which is what she needs after this surgery. Um, she is definitely not going to have that in one of those little lycra pullovers that crushes the breast rather than lifts and separates it. The Anita Active 5523 Firm Support Front Closure is a great choice. It is seamless so that uh, there won't be any chafing on the breast. It has the encapsulation technology that we're looking for. It's a front closure. It has Velcro straps so that she won't completely have to disrobe at the doctor's office she can just unvelcro the strap and pull down the side that the doctor needs to see. And then after the surgery, she can use it as her sports bra. Other great bras to try from our active collection would be the 5527 Extreme Control, the 5529 Momentum, or the 5521 Light and Firm. After she's completely healed, she can be fit into a padded, wired, or non-wired bra um, sometimes it may take a year before she can be comfortable in a wired bra, depending upon where her sutures were. Um, you might also find that the reconstructed side will have a flat apex because of the tension of the skin against the implant. Um, it flattens the end of that breast out. If the flattened apex isn't terribly noticeable, um, some great bras to try would be the Rosafia Selma Style 5637 bra or the Anita Care Lisa Style 5726, which is a stretch microfiber that molds itself to the breast shape. If the apex is very flat, and sometimes it will be, um, the Anita Care Tanya with a partial breast form will give her the volume that she needs to create that symmetry. In some cases, unfortunately, the reconstruction does not match the, um, the opposite side. And in the uh, example I'm giving here, she's had both sides reconstructed and they don't match each other. 
Um, sometimes they'll sit higher or lower or be larger or smaller or wider than her natural breast. In this case, you can't use a wired bra. Um, the wired bra will end up with the wire either pressing on breast tissue or it will press on the reconstructive mound. And a wire can permanently damage the reconstruction, so you don't want to do that. You want to go for a non-wired bra with some padding and then add a partial shaper if it's needed. A great suggestion would be the Anita Care uh, Padded Caroline style, um, style 5762, or the Mila Padded style 5797. In this case, the idea is to camouflage and make the area look as natural as possible. It's not always possible to make the area completely even, but with a padded bra and the help of a silicone shaper, you really can come fairly close. Hi, so now we're going to go over reconstructive surgery. So reconstructive surgery is when a woman has actually had a mastectomy, not partial surgery, she's actually had her breast removed, and she may have had both breasts removed, so she may have one or both sides reconstructed. Now, normally what happens is the doctor will tell her, okay, just go out to a discount store and grab a sports bra. I am horrified every time I hear that. And I hope that you are horrified as well because this woman has just spent so much money on having her breasts uh, removed and then she's had cancer treatment and she's had reconstruction and he's just telling her to head out and buy some crummy old bra that she's going to be totally uncomfortable in. It may lay on her suture lines. No, this is why these women need us. So make sure that you let people know that you fit women who have had all sorts of breast surgery. So um, during reconstruction, they will normally um, cut the breast here. Sometimes she will still have, um, maybe not sutures, but she will have um, spots that look healed on the outside, but they're not completely healed on the inside, maybe over here under her breast. So what we wanna do is make sure that we put her in a comfortable sports bra that uses encapsulation technology. Encapsulation technology lifts the breast, pulls it toward the chest wall, and um, but it doesn't crush it into some weird unnatural shape like those pull it over your head bras do where it just crunches your breast to your chest wall. This actually takes it and cradles it and pulls it up and it's very comfortable. So what I love about this bra is first of all, it has a marvelous band. It's a flat band, so it stays where it's supposed to stay. This, by the way, is the Anita 5523. Um, just an amazing bra. We have a front hook on it. And the amazing thing with this, what I love about this bra, is that we reverse the hooks. So if you've ever watched a woman try and get into a front hook bra, they can't see, nothing's going right, because the hooks are, are hooked in and they're trying to find them and they can't because their fingers are in the way. So we put the hooks so that they face out so it's much easier to catch the hook and eye on that. Engineers, gotta love them. So we've done that with it. There's a really soft padded um, uh, backing on this so it doesn't rub up against the chest wall. We've got Velcro straps, so she can make these as long or as short as she needs them to be. Um, she can also wear this after surgery as a sports bra. On the sides, it's nice and wide, so it's pulling everything in. You need to make sure that this bra compresses. If a bra gives um, some good compression, what happens is that it cuts down on swelling, it cuts down on bruising, and it does decrease the time it takes to heal. So we wanna make sure that the entire area is being compressed and, um, and that this feels good on her. The back is nice and wide, 
The, um, the band lays nice and flat in the back as well. This is almost like a tank top back. Very comfortable. So um, the nice thing about this is when she goes for uh, her checkups, all she has to do is take down one side at a time. It's a modesty thing, but it's nice to have. It's a nice thing to be able to offer to her. Um, again, this bra is the 5523. You're going to measure it just the way you would measure a regular bra, but again, we are going to add that extra three to four inches around the band. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, look us up on the, uh, the Connect. Thank you. So breast cancer is not the only reason uh, for breast surgery. Currently, breast augmentation is the number one plastic surgery performed in the U.S. And after surgery, many of these women have to wear a supportive sports bra. I refer you back to the physician, go get a discount store sports bra. Again, no, this will never, ever be a thing. Our Anita post-surgery sport bra, style $11.99, is amazing. And it keeps the surgical site dry. Uh, by wicking moisture away from the body, there's this great toweling fabric on the inside that pulls moisture away from the chest wall, pushes it to the outside of the garment so that it can be quickly dried. It has great control because of the hidden sling between the outer layer of the bra and the inner wicking layer. Hi, it's Colleen and Socially Distanced Sally again. And now we're going to go over um, women who have had augmentation surgery. So um, these women have had surgery. It's usually um, an outpatient surgery. And again, their physicians will normally tell them, oh, just go buy a, you know, a cheap sports bra and use that. Okay, so sometimes these women can't even get their hands above their heads. So that's difficult. Again, we want to make sure that she has compression. We want to make sure that she's comfortable. If, um, if she doesn't use compression, um, she could, um, you know, uh, increase bruising and it might take her longer to heal. So this is a great bra, especially for augmentation. Um, this is our Anita bra, um, 1199. And again, it has the flat band so that, um, so that it stays put. It's not going to twist or turn around. We've got two sets of hooks on here, which is really great because when she's swollen, she's going to need to let that out. And when the swelling starts to go down, she can bring it in and the same bra will still fit her. Um, this, the inside of this bra, let me show you this. It has a, it's a cotton toweling so that it pulls perspiration from the inside of the garment, sends it to the outside of the garment so that it can be um, dried very, very quickly. Uh, you want to make sure that that surgery stays, um, stays dry. If you can see here, we've got a great side sling on here. And that is perfect for making sure that all of that breast tissue is up. And again, this is an encapsulation bra, so it's bringing it in and it's pulling it up. So it keeps it where it's supposed to be. We again have the Velcro strap so she can use that um, again to take one side down at a time if she wants to be more modest when she's going to the doctor. Um, it also, she can use this as a sports bra after the surgery. Again, you can see that it's got the nice wide sides. We wanna make sure that everything is compressed in here so she doesn't have a lot of swelling. And in the back, again, it's nice and wide here. And this is also compressed because we wanna make sure that everything stays compressed, everything stays comfortable, so it decreases her healing time. 
So, um, you know, any sort of bra like this would be perfect for someone who's had augmentation. Um, by the way, just a little something that I like to tell people about augmentation. Um, some women think that after they've had augmentation, they don't have to wear a bra. And that's wrong. Um, they should at least wear a shelf bra after they're completely healed. Definitely um, something like this while they're healing, but at least a shelf bra afterwards. Gravity doesn't stop working because you've had augmentation surgery. So she still is going to need a bra. Otherwise, those, um, those breasts are going to droop just well, just like mine. But anyway, um, again, if you have any questions, please look us up on Curve Connect. And my name's Colleen Ruby. Contrary to what some women believe, after having breast augmentation, she does still have to wear a bra. Unless her bra supported, over time, the breasts will begin to droop just like a natural breast will. Um, gravity doesn't stop working just because she's had augmentation. That being said, after the initial healing period, an easy bra like our Lynn style 5768 or Lada style 5769 are a great comfortable alternative to a wired bra while she continues to heal. They're soft, they have removable pads, and they give plenty of support for the few weeks that will take her to fully heal. Um, they're also great as sleep bras. Once she's fully healed, any bra will work, as long as the augmentation is balanced and symmetric. Um, and by any bra, I mean, she could even use a, um, a shelf bra inside of a tank top. That's enough, but they should always be supported. The last surgery that we are going to discuss is breast reduction. This surgery is for women who have uncomfortably large breasts that cause pain in their shoulders, their neck, and their back, and can cause divots in the shoulders, and it can also negatively impact a woman's self-esteem. The surgery for this procedure normally includes making an incision around the areola and down under the breast, and it removes excess fat, skin, and breast tissue to reduce the size of the breast. It then reshapes the breast and repositions the nipple and areola. It's normally an outpatient procedure and she'll go home that same day. For the next few weeks, she will have to limit her activities and most likely wear a surgical compression bra. Hi, and we're back for our last segment. Sally and I are happy to show you our um, full compression bra. This is an actual surgical bra for women who have had reduction surgery. Um, the style of this bra is 1198, and this is perfect for women who have had reduction surgery. Um, so when they do reduction surgery, they cut out around the areola and they cut straight down to the bottom of the breast. Then they take everything out that they need to reduce the, um, the breast, and then they put it all back together, move the areola and nipple up, put it all, um, sew it all back together. So she's going to have an issue in this area and down here. We definitely want to make sure that she has a seamless bra because you don't want any seams running across that surgery because ouch. Um, this is a magnificent bra. This has a wide bottom. The reason for that is because you can see that this bottom doesn't come anywhere near the bottom of her breast and it stays anchored. It's got that really wide band on it, stays anchored. It's incredible. It's got a zip front on it, so it's easy to get into and out of. And again, it has Velcro straps so that if um, she is at the physician's office and he wants to see it again, she can be modest and show him one side at a time. On the sides, you can see that this is a full side. It's almost like a shirt. It goes all the way up to the armpit. We want to make sure that this is all um, compressed in here. And the back is like a vest. And this, again, is so that she gets that compression. Um, this is going to give her, uh, I'm sorry, not this bra, 
this surgery is going to give her a lot of um, swelling and bruising and it is going to take a while to heal. So this is a perfect bra for that. It's comfortable for her, it cuts down on the bruising, it helps to reduce the swelling and, um, and honestly, it's like not wearing a bra at all. Um, even though it looks like a lot of bra. So, um, so I hope you've enjoyed um, Sally and I. And again, if you have any questions, please look us up on Curve Connect. Thank you. A surgical compression bra compresses the tissue and it helps to control uh, swelling and it does promote healing post-surgically. Not wearing the compression bra can lengthen the amount of time it takes to heal. It can create an issue with asymmetry of the breast. Not wearing the compression bra actually promotes surgical bruising and swelling, and it can stand in the way of connective tissue adhering and healing properly. She'll most likely be more comfortable in a compression bra as well. The compression bra has no inside seams that will rub on the surgical site. It has an elongated torso so that it sits lower than the traditional bra line. That's important in case any of her surgery touches the, um, the traditional bra line. This way she won't have seams and a band rubbing on that surgical site all of the time. It has a nice wide elastic bottom which tacks it to the body and keeps it in place and it has a front closure with a zipper that allows easy on and off. The bra itself actually fits like a vest so it comes up high under the arm and it completely compresses the entire thoracic area. Our Anita Bra 1198 is perfect for post-surgical compression. The nice thing is, is that it comes in real bra sizes, not alpha sizes like small, medium, large, extra large. So the fit is comfortable and it's exact. So there's no twisting or rubbing. It's really easy to measure because you're a fitter, you already know how to measure for a bra, and it comes in cup sizes, so it's easy to wear as well. Guess what, my fitter friends? Men also have reductions. Um, Anita makes a compression vest that covers and compresses the entire torso to shorten the healing time and to prevent excessive swelling. These are available um, anytime. You can special order them, so Keep that in mind if uh, you make a connection with a plastic surgeon. So I hope that you've learned today that with uh, some sports bras and some padded bras and some non-wire padded bras and maybe a surgical bra or two, you can fit most of the breast surgeries that are out there that aren't mastectomies. Um, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for attending and feel free to contact me, Colleen Ruby, or any of the Anita team through Curve Connect.